Here, little baby. Yeah. Tell me one day, 32. All right. No, you don't. You're doing very well. The old buck got on the outside walls up before a break. Yeah, handling all the trusses, man, Diane. Oh, really? That's messed up. <laughs> I'll catch what Catfish is doing here. He's using a, using a just regular stick fan. I've never done a stick nutter. About three and a quarter inch by 131 inch. We got some little grooves in the shanks that hold real, real well. Three nails in each stud and four in the four or more in the bit so depending on what it is. I will get these top plates uh, tie the walls together. Like on the corners we uh let the plate from one wall up over onto the top of the plate from another the other wall. That kinda of ties them together a whole lot better than just square button. So well, we got our T's for the intersections. It's there. You ready? Yeah. Cool, man. All right, so what I'm going to do now is get a measurement on this rear, get a jump start on them. And I'm going to fly with eight foot, so whatever I have the difference between eight foot is, uh, is what I'll cut these top pieces. Exactly 10 foot, so I'm gonna round a little bit. I'm gonna make them uh, 23 and a half. That'd be uh, one foot 11 and a half. They'd give me all together uh, nine foot 11 and a half. Give them a half inch play with. The house is already plank, that, that'll be just fine. Okay, see so what we got here is uh, the, the wall is about 10 foot tall and the plywood's eight foot tall. Well, according to the building codes, you gotta have a wall brace on each corner 
and every 25 foot on the wall. So since the plywood won't go all the way to the top, see, that, see those breaks right there? And we got a row of blocks on the inside of the walls and the, you know, the plywood into those blocks and that way they, you got a complete wall brace from top to bottom. You can do that as, as high up as you want to. But that's the code, you got to have a wall block. See, the this wall is uh, about 28 foot long, okay? So I got another end over it's like 32 foot long. So that's uh, that's eight pieces over over there and seven pieces over here. It's 15 pieces. When I know I can cut through five pieces at once. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set, set my saw all the way down. I'm gonna do three marks, 23 and a half. And I'm gonna cut through all those pieces at once. Save a bunch of marking, save a bunch of uh, resawing. Uh, you gotta make sure it's just got the APA stamp on it. The inspectors want to prove it. It looks something like that right there, but it does say APA on it. We lay out our studs for the OSB to break, so uh, it'll be a lot less cutting on it. Uh, temperature's dropped to about 9 degrees. Uh, pretty cold air moving in. We'll like the two walls. We'll try to hang in there as long as we keep the gun shooting. Uh, we think about it, it's real cold today, then we got above freezing, the high was like 20, but uh, we don't have any mud to deal with, that's, you know, one bright side of it. Uh, it really makes a big difference when you ain't got to slop around in a bunch of mud like a hog pen, you know. It takes a lot of energy out of you filling with that mud, and just uh, getting it all over wood and stuff like that, your tools get muddy. You know, at least we ain't got that to deal with. Uh, lumber Company did a pretty good job of uh, estimating the number of sheets of plywood. This is all the scrap we had left. And, uh... They did a good job on uh, down all the flowers. Temperatures really dry. Yeah. 